What's going on guys, AFCB TV here on the next day reflection of Arsenal 3, AFC Bournemouth 1. It's all done and dusted at the Emirates. Did I feel like we should have lost? No, of course not. Uh, I feel like we could have got a point away from that game, but unfortunately the result did not come for in our favour. Uh, but looking at it, um, it was a good good game, played very well. Nathan Ecker, I'd say, my man of the match once again. Definitely won for the starting lineup after those last two games. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Jordan Ive has dropped to the bench, um, looking at it. Very surprised, and actually not even surprised, you know what I mean? And um, I feel like he will be continued as a sub, as I know he feel like. He was making the same impact. He was doing the exact same things as he has been these last few games. And he's just not created anything. Um, no offence to Jordan. I know £15 million, pounds, but uh, to be wasted really on the bench. Not that brilliant, but that's the way things going to have to go. But the first goal, looking at it at the Emirates Stadium, came from uh, Adam Federici and Steve Cook mistake. Ball rolls to Steve Cook on the right side of the box. Instead of hoofing up the pitch... Sanchez applied a lot of pressure on to Steve Cook, him passing it back to Adam Federici, and uh, not with not enough power, Alexis Sanchez takes the ball and slots it underneath Adam Federici to make it one goal to nil. But not for long, as if about ten minutes later, uh, the ball goes into the box. Callum Wilson, balling over, dubious about the penalty. Do I think it's penalty? Maybe. Um, it's a really tight one, but the problem was what may have conflicted a lot of the hate from the Arsenal players was how quickly the referee was to give the penalty, and I feel like he didn't give it enough thought. Yes, I'm happy that we got the goal and made it 1-1 as Callum Wilson slotted it along the ground with enough power to go past Pejek, who dived the upper to the left. Um, but then going into the second half, it really all went to... All went through. 1-1 one, one at half time. And they were just pressing and pressing and pressing. The ball goes in on the left side um, with a cross in once again. Finding B.O. Walcott and his head as he heads it into the goal. But straight after then, we go on the attack around, I don't know how many minutes later. And we get the shot in. Oh no, not even a shot in. Passes to um, Simon Francis who, who's on the right side of the box. And Smith going round on the right. Doesn't go to him. But what he was thinking, um, Simon Francis, going to try and chip it over um, past Monreal, Monreal, Monreal to find Adam Smith. But no, it hit his hand and no penalty was awarded. A blatant handball. No offence. But that is not a natural position. It should be a penalty and it could potentially be 2-2 two, two right there. Going on once again, we go into the box. A good shot from Benikafobi, the substitute. Getting on a goal line clearance from the Arsenal defence to stop us from scoring another goal um, to equalise, potentially 3-2 right there. But the amount of pressure Bournemouth were putting on was too much as the Arsenal players broke through on the counter-attack. Good one-two play um, with Olivier Giroud playing it across the box on the goal by the bar line. And finding Alexis Sanchez, who slots at home to make it 3-1 at the Emirates. Um, I feel like if if we weren't playing enough pressure, the goals were going in. We could have got a draw out there. But Arsenal are a very difficult side and not an easy place to go to the Emirates. Next up, we have Liverpool on the Sunday. That's another good fact as well. Bournemouth, all Bournemouth Sunday games, have we have lost all eight. And the curse of the Sunday games continue. Next Sunday, we will be up against Liverpool. Can we end it? I've been Matt from SB TV. If you want to watch more ball flake content, subscribe down to the channel. I've been Matt and I'm out.